Hi YouTubers, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is October 5th, 2022, and it is Wednesday. It's currently about 38 degrees there at Yellowstone. When I started watching earlier this morning, it was about 24, and they do have snow up on the mountains. Let me show you that. Now here's another view from Mount Washburn. Fire Lookout, uh, Northeast View, 1141. Yeah, look at all that snow. Looks like they moved the camera. Yeah, you can see all the dead trees going up here along uh, where there is a crack going up on the top of um, um, Mallard, yeah, Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. Yeah. It was really dirty this morning. Let me show you. I took a picture and shared it on Twitter. Now this was at 1116 AM today. Um, yeah, look at Firehole River, how dark that is down there. So I'm going to start here with the uh, tilt and the uplift that's going on at Yellowstone. This here is borehole 207 for the Madison River area. And it goes back, um, this is seven days, one week. And it's measured in micro radians. Okay, um, the top is north and I believe Y is east. Okay, for the last seven days. And then each dot is measurements of earthquakes. Either it brings it up or takes it down. And I hate it when they have this so little that you can't even read it. Yeah, and this is for the last 30 days. Um, the lighter in the color is, you know, in the past, and then the darker is more more recent. All right, Yellowstone Lake for the last seven days. Again, this is for the borehole, borehole 208. And, yeah, and you know that the lake is tipping. So, yeah. And then we'll go down. See, I hate that when they do that. Um, yeah, this is for the last 30 days. And there's the disc. And then going back to 2008 when they first started tracking the uh, um, tilt of Yellowstone. You see we got a large time frame where they weren't getting any data. And then they reset the machines. And again, we're more data wasn't working yeah these few tilt meters are the only one that are currently available through unavco.org all right so this is grant which is along the um, side of west thumb i call it little west thumb and you can see in different times where it took a breath lots of dots means lots of shaking this is where the last seven days and then we'll go down to the last 30 days yeah i hate that i don't know how they can actually track anything that's going on you know when the machine um, isn't set right usgs is saying that there's been 29 earthquakes within the last uh, 24 hours and they actually have one here for uh, let me bring it out for the sawtooth mountain range yeah they got one right there um, a magnitude 3.1 so if we add that in they got 30 earthquakes and there's been more over there but they just don't bother to list them the most recent earthquake they got at 1456 a 0 0.6 Maybe they're on coffee breaks right now. I don't know. Um, but there is one from data that I recently downloaded at 1556 Universal, which would be 1056 uh, Mountain Time. And it comes in as a magnitude. Let me bring it down. As a magnitude 1.55. And I'll show you the other monitors where it came in at. Okay, and this one here is Mary Lake. Uh, it had a stronger signature over there. 
Um, let's go to the borehole. The borehole also reads as a magnitude 1.55. As long as you got the entire seismic signature, it doesn't matter where you take the reading from, um, they will all come up the same. Now this is borehole 207. Let me bring it up. Yeah, it's been really active. Look at all those earthquakes marked in red up there. All right, so going to that time frame, they got one, two, three, four, Five largest looks like a 2.2, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, 2.5, 15, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Holy cow, 21, 21 earthquakes within just one hour so counting what they got here it looks like they pretty well covered just about all of them but i'm going to go to this one 209 the first one that's marked in red they're saying it's a magnitude 2.2 but i come up with a magnitude 2.35 the next one they're saying is a 1.2 six and that's what i get is a 1.6 so they didn't fudge on that one this next one they didn't report um, it comes in as a 1.58 that's um at 210 and five seconds at 210 and 20 seconds they didn't report that one either it comes in as a 1.38 the next one at 210 and 35 seconds, not being reported, comes in as a 1.46. Now they do report um, a 0 0.3 at 211 and 20 seconds. Yeah, 0 0.3 and yeah, I don't know which one it would be. We got some right there. And let's bring this over a little bit. Okay. Um, now I'm trying to go over. Okay. Yeah, we got a small one at, um, 211.30 seconds. That comes in as a 1.31. Let's go back to the signature and yeah, let's see what we got going on here. This one right here. Um, 211 and, um, or 212 and 20 seconds. That comes in as a magnitude 1.81. Let's go down a little bit farther. And we got two more real small ones there. And the next one marked in red right there. Go to the spectrogram at 214 and 10 seconds. They actually did not fudge about that one, didn't mess up. It comes in as a magnitude 2.5, and they're saying it was a 2.5 also. Yeah, um, down here by the Madison River area, I see 2.5, 4.7 miles in depth. Yeah, they got um, 214 in six seconds so it came in about four seconds later here let's see we got another one there i don't know if they reported it or not let me look let me make that bigger okay there we go they're saying it's a 1.4 but i get a magnitude 1.67 okay then the next one let's go over here to that one there at uh, 218.45. They're saying it's a magnitude 2.3, but I get a magnitude 2.62. And there's its seismic signature. Oh, it disappeared on me. I wanted to go back and um, take a look what's going on. Yeah, we got sharpened points, which would mean tectonic. You know, the plates are moving. And I've talked about this 
how um, with the Earth's magnetic field weakening, um, and then, then with that planet conjunction that happens every 400 years, and how um, the sun is affecting the Earth, we're going to see more earthquakes. And during that time um, when it happened before, uh, 400 years ago, yeah, the plates, the continents moved, and yeah, so we're going to see more of that going on. Okay, let's go to this one here. I'll have to make that one bigger too. Yeah, it's a real interesting um, article I read about how the um, other planets are heating up. Yep, see that's tectonic too. And let's go to this one. Yep, tectonic in movement. I'll have to make that one bigger. Yep, tectonic. Let's go down to the most recent one. Okay, which was that one right there that I, I showed you guys. Yep. Here we have an image um, from swpcnoaa.gov of our current geoelectric field. And yeah, see, that's, I, I don't think I can make that bigger. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, up over here is that, yeah, that's Yellowstone. And it shows the intensity scale down here at the bottom. I wish I could make that bigger. It's not going to let me do that. Um, a while ago, I talked about a new area where um, the Earth magnetic field anomaly was going on and that was along the east coast and then yeah i think it's interesting we see this here um i'm sure you guys will remember about the uh, south american anomaly but anyways yeah there's one off the east coast now and that is the united states different kp indexes now this is um, boulder colorado we got Fredericksburg, um, estimated planetary, it says, and college. And you guys know we got hit by that um, X flare, and then the, we're currently being impacted by some M flares, too. Here's a current image of the sun from Soho. They're worried about this sunspot area here, and this is the one that put off the X flare. Down over here, um, they got this huge area which seems to be looping between the two, and that's Earth facing. Um, they're mostly concerned probably about this area here and then this one here. Um, if this one went off again, we'd probably just get a glancing blow. And then there's the uh, coronal hole where we get the uh, winds from that. I was watching another channel that was covering um, some of these um, flares and uh, talking about this disc right here. And I never even considered, but see these little arms as they swirl around? Um, when the sun puts off a blast um, because of the Earth's rotation, eventually these here will impact us. Let me go up and then I'll play this for you. Let's come down and I'll hit play. Okay, let's see if it'll go for me. Okay. Yeah, I never gave it a consideration about these other arms swooping around and then impacting us. All right, let's go back up over here. These are two different satellites. Um, and they constantly stay in position to keep an eye on the sun. Um, yeah, with the Earth's rotation, they're constantly move. They, they, they're stationary, but the view of the camera um, is constantly on the sun. 
So let's go up to the top and see when this is going to impact us universal time. Yeah, see right there. And I'll stop it. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Still, so stereo A view is down here at the bottom. And the uh, purple would be stereo view. Okay, and I want to go back a little bit. So this would have been yesterday. Um, you can see the time. That, again, that's universal time. But that is actually today at 12 noon. So that was probably like an hour and a half ago. So it goes all the way up through October 10th, which will be my birthday. I'm going to be 68 years old. Um, I'm in pretty darn good shape for my age. Um, I don't feel like it mentally. But anyways, it, you can watch here on the dates and the um, impact time for these different arms. All right, here we have the last seven days of um, the different solar flares, the X-ray flux. flux. Um, that one, I believe, right there, that was the uh, X-flare. And let's see, looks like we had an M flare, one there, one, two, three, four. But just today, looks like one M flare and then probably three C flares. Let's go to one day. I can change that. Yep, there we go. Okay. You see over here on the right, it's X, M, C, B, and A. Different flares. Here on spaceweather.com, they show the uh, numbering of the different um, sunspots. Uh, 3116, 3112, 3117, 3115, and like I said, the one that's going around that gave us the X flare. Uh, 3118 and 3110, excuse me. Anyways, these affect the Earth. Yep. And this is why it, it's affecting our weather, our jet stream. Um, yeah, it causes earthquakes. And if a vo volcano is ready to go off, could trigger that. This is currently what the uh, live stream is showing. So spaceweather.com is saying that AR-3112 is poised to explode. Uh, NOAA forecasters estimate a 65% chance of M flares and a 30% chance of X flares today. Well, when that X flare went off, there was zero probability of any X flares on that day, so they really don't know. Kind of like earthquakes, you just don't know. You can't predict them. Any eruptions will be geo-effective as the sunspot is almost directly facing Earth. Yeah, not good. Well, they actually finally turned the camera back to Old Faithful. Yeah, and it looks dirty too. Yeah, not good. I wonder if I can make that bigger. Let me try. That's as big as I can make it. Yeah, I'll bring it down. All those people, they have no idea. Do they think it's a joke that they're walking on top of a volcano? I don't know. So I want to cover these earthquakes that we've been having in this location. There's 23 within the last 24 hours. This is Mary Mountain. And we got Mary Lake over here. And this is all the activity that's been showing there at Mary Lake. I want to click on this. We had, yeah, several lines of melt. And, yeah, the as they call it, blobs of magma were coming in for um, almost an hour. Yeah. And then over here, too. 
and then this is what it was showing when I pulled the files which was probably a good hour and a half maybe two hours ago yeah look at that I'll go to the thumbnails real quick so this is Mary Lake right there let's click on purple mountain See, it's been showing all that activity. And we'll check out another one. Um, yeah, this is the Norris Museum. A lot of activity going on. I couldn't get Soda Butte to download for some reason. And we got Holmes Hill, Hedgen Lake. Yeah, this whole side of the caldera is really acting up. So that's all I have for you today. If any thoughts or questions, please put it down below. If you wish to support my work, I'm also on Patreon. You can do that for just $1 a month. Um, yeah. What do you think? You know, watching this. So please stay safe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Do not share, um, if you are preparing, if you are a prepper with other people because yeah, majority of the people don't prepare and um, loose lips sink ships, as they say. And once the word gets out that you have food, um, yeah, they're going to come and take it. Starving people do desperate things. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good Wednesday, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.